Welcome back to the channel. Some of y'all that have been keeping up with my videos knows that I mowed hay yesterday. And I ended up kicking it probably around 12, 31 o'clock. And it looks like some of it may do this evening. I've got a lot that I want to try to get done. So I'm on my way down, down to my neighbor's. My neighbor said he'd let me borrow his four-wheel wagon. So we're going to go fetch it. And I just thought I'd take you all along for a little ride. My two cows, they stick out pretty good. Or my two cattle. I've had that cow since, gosh, probably since I was 12 or 13. I bought or raised her and had probably six or seven calves off of her since. Thought I'd take a little forward down here to get the wagon with you all. Something a little different. I'm gonna brag on their new shed a little. It's pretty sweet. I like to build one of my own one day. Got his wagon. This wagon's got like an eight ton running gear under it. Um, it's got an all new deck on it. He spent all last winter rebuilding it. It's pretty awesome. About 5.30. Finally getting a little bit raked up. We got Aaron on the little board today. Aaron ended up having a couple days off work. He said he'd want to come up and help, so I said, come on, let's go. Went and got the neighbor's wagon. Dad's checking out some things. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna bail up the, the end row here. And then we'll go ahead and we'll accumulate this so we can kind of get it out of our way. little piece up here Bell. this is the first thing that I mowed um, in the video from yesterday so it's pretty crazy how good a weather that we've had to be able to mow hay yesterday morning and put up this evening got a little couple short ones that popped out there a little wonky they'll be all right though they'll stack those are some of our trial ones you gotta bail a couple before you figure out what's right Dad. It's really a big learning 
curve with that thing. Well, that old joystick too, it's real, real touchy. He's not doing too bad for his first time running it. Clean up this one little scrap here and we'll be done. We got Aaron on there now. Boy, looky there. That's some pretty hay. Now, some of you all may be wondering exactly what setup do I have. I guess I can take this video and explain it. That's a Maxillator Akimi Grapple. And what it is, you can notice the bars and things in, in between. Those bars are dividers for you to accumulate. It makes a pack of 10. So what he'll do, he'll choose a spot. He's got four, he's got four spots that he can choose from. So it looks like he's gonna choose the outside here. All right, and you'll have eight that goes long ways like that. Now he can choose to do whatever he wants to with these out here. It, it really doesn't matter. Tilt it up just a little, Aaron. There you go. Now, once he gets to the uh, once he gets full enough to the outside, I'll show you what happens next. All right. So when you get to the end of the row and things like that, where you don't really have much option, you just set it down and then you pull your remote, and he's going to close the hooks up. It should be the top one. There you go. All right. Now he's able to pick up what he has, and then he can go start somewhere else. So if you want to start on that row, want to start on this row, whatever, and he can finish it out. So now he's going to set it down. He's going to unloosen his hooks. There you go. Tilt it back just a little, Aaron. Tilt it back just a little. Yeah, or, yeah tilt it up. Oh, there you go. That's good. All right, so now he's going to throw this in on the outside. Oh, keep on going. Or hang on, let me get it. It's definitely a learning curve with these things. That's what I was telling him earlier. All right, now, come on. It's a very small uh, margin of error. Okay, so now to get the two long ways, he's either got the option to hit it on the corner with this side or he can hit it in the middle. And looks like he's gonna choose this side to try to bend it around. Tilt her up just a little, Aaron. Whoop. If anybody's got any tips on these things on how to keep them level from the operator seat, whether it be like putting an actual level on them, or whatever it is, because it seems like it's kind of tough to be able to see exactly where the tilt is. If you got a spotter, it's not bad, but if you buy yourself, it's kind of a little difficult. 